it's Yay for Yarn, and today I'm going to show you three easy hairstyles I did with knitted bun makers. Here's a knitted bun maker I made. See the link in the description box to learn how to make this. First, we're going to do a regular bun. You can start with your hair in a ponytail right where you want bun to sit. Then you're going to take your knitted bun maker and slide your ponytail through the middle of it. You're then going to tip your head forward and spread the ponytail over the bun maker so that it covers the bun maker without any gaps. You want the hair to be smoothed out over the bun maker so that you don't see the bun maker showing through in any of the spots. Then you're going to take a ponytail holder and stretch it over the top of the bun maker to make the bun. And I like to take that ponytail holder and wrap it around a second time to make it a little bit tighter. Now that you've done that and adjusted the bun how you like, we have to do something with the remaining hair. I like to pick up a piece of that hair and grab a second piece, and I like to twist them together by crossing the right strand over the left one. Then I add another small piece to the right strand and cross it over the left one. And I continue doing this all the way around, picking up another piece, adding it to the right strand and crossing it over the left one until I run out of hair. Once you've used up all the hair, you're going to twist those two pieces of hair together until you reach the ends. Then you're going to take a small rubber band and tie off the end of the hair. Now you're going to wrap that twist underneath the bun so that it isn't sticking out funny in any, any places. It needs to be even and smooth. And I like mine to sit, you know, underneath the bun so that it's not really showing very much. And it will take you a minute to adjust this how you like. Now you're going to take some bobby pins and pin the whole bun to your head so that it's more secure. I like to go around the edges, pinning the hair that's around the bun maker to the hair that is smoothed up against my head from the ponytail. You're also going to be pinning the twist to your head and to the bun as you do this. And there's your finished hairstyle. For this hairstyle, we're going to do a bun with a little bit of twist in it to give it some texture. You're going to start again with the same ponytail and slide your bun maker over the ponytail. The ponytail should be coming out the center of the bun maker. Now you're going to take a small piece of hair out of the ponytail and you're going to twist it. Bring it over the bun maker so that it's covering the bun maker and up back through the center of the bun maker again. Then you're going to take another piece of hair, add it to the piece you already had, and keep twisting it in the same direction. Then you're going to again bring it over the top of the bun maker and back up through the middle. And again, you're going to keep picking up new pieces of hair, adding them to the piece you already had, twisting it, and bringing it around and back up through the maker. You want all of your twists to sit next to each other and cover the bun maker without any gaps.
once you've picked up the last piece of hair, add it to the twist and brought it back around and through the bun maker again. Then you're going to hold on to that little tail and adjust the twists so that they cover the bun maker thoroughly and don't have any gaps in between. Once you're happy with it, you're going to pin the little tail of hair to your head underneath the bun with a bobby pin. I like to take more bobby pins and secure the bun to the back of my head until I like how it feels and make sure that it feels secure. And I like to also use these pins to pin down any flyaways. And there's a textured bun. For this hairstyle, we're going to do half a bun. This is a bun that only uses the top half of your hair. I have seconded off the top of my hair and turned it into a ponytail. And now I'm going to slide the bun maker onto that ponytail. So that the ponytail is coming out of the center of it. And again, you're going to tip your head forward, spread the hair over the bun maker so that it's covered without any gaps. And you're going to take your ponytail holder, go over the top of the bun with it so that it's smooth. And I like to take the ponytail holder around the bun a second time. Now we have to do something with the remaining hair. I like to take a piece of it, twist it in one direction, add another piece and keep twisting, add another piece and keep twisting until I run out of hair. Once you've collected all the hair into your twist, you're going to keep twisting it, bring it around underneath the bun so that it lays smooth and even. You're then going to take bobby pins and pin the bun to the back of your head like we did before, making sure that you catch the twist in your pins. your finished half bun hairstyle. Thanks for watching!